Students for a Democratic Society, a Graphic History, by Harvey Picard is a compelling exploration of a pivotal moment in American history, the rise and fall of the Students for a Democratic Society, SDS, during the 1960s. Through the medium of graphic storytelling, Picard and his collaborators vividly depict the tumultuous events and ideological clashes that defined this era of student activism. Picard's decision to present this historical narrative in graphic form is significant. The use of visual elements adds depth and immediacy to the story, enabling readers to connect emotionally with the characters and events. The black and white illustrations by various artists effectively capture the era's aesthetic, contributing to the overall atmosphere of the book. This visual style echoes the grassroots nature of the SDS and the countercultural movements of the time. One of the book's strengths lies in its portrayal of the diverse range of individuals involved in the SDS. Picard and his collaborators provide readers with a multifaceted view of the activists, showing both their passion for social change and their internal struggles. This complexity is exemplified in the character of Tom Hayden, one of the founding members of the SDS. Hayden's journey from a young idealist to a more pragmatic political actor reflects the broader evolution of the organization itself. By portraying Hayden's inner conflict and growth, the book highlights the internal tensions within the SDS and the larger 1960s counterculture. The graphic format also allows the authors to emphasize the importance of personal connections and relationships in political movements. For example, the romantic relationship between Tom Hayden and Casey Hayden is depicted as a central part of their involvement in the SDS. Their discussions and disagreements provide insight into the challenges faced by couples who were deeply committed to political activism during this period. This portrayal of personal relationships adds depth to the narrative and underscores the idea that social and political movements are not just about ideology but also about human connections and emotions. The book effectively conveys the sense of urgency and optimism that characterized the early days of the SDS. The initial enthusiasm of the student activists is palpable, as they come together to challenge the status quo and advocate for social justice. The artwork captures the energy of protests, sit-ins, and campus organizing efforts. Readers are transported to a time when young people believed they could change the world through collective action. However, as the narrative progresses, the book also documents the growing divisions and conflicts within the SDS. These divisions are portrayed not as weaknesses but as the natural result of ideological debates and differing strategies for social change. The graphic format allows the authors to visually represent these divisions, such as the split between the Weatherman faction and the more moderate members of the SDS. This division ultimately led to the decline and fragmentation of the organization. The book's exploration of the SDS's engagement with issues of race and class is another noteworthy aspect. It highlights the challenges faced by activists as they grappled with questions of privilege, identity, and intersectionality. The struggle for racial equality, exemplified by the civil rights movement, played a significant role in shaping the SDS's agenda and internal dynamics. The graphic format effectively conveys the emotional impact of events like the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., which had a profound influence on the direction of the SDS. In conclusion, Students for a Democratic Society, a Graphic History, by Harvey Picard is a compelling and visually engaging exploration of a pivotal period in American history. Through its graphic storytelling, the book brings to life the passion, idealism, and conflicts of the 1960s student activists. It offers a multifaceted view of the individuals involved, the personal relationships that fueled their activism, 
and the ideological debates that shaped their movement. Ultimately, this graphic history serves as a reminder of the power of youth-led social movements and the enduring relevance of the issues they championed.